Is she saying we stole her phone? I need to search both of your backpacks. Hey, what are you doing? my phone. I mean, I just had it. Oh God, I'm already running so late. Hey kids, did you see my phone maybe on the ground or something? Uh, no, we didn't see anything, Mrs. Jones. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I didn't see it anywhere. Well, can you at least help me look for it then? I mean, I know it's around here somewhere. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll help you look for it. Yeah, do you wanna, wanna help? Yeah. <sighs> oh, this is so frustrating. <sighs> Just had it. Mrs. Jones, we can't find it. Well, I find it interesting that I saw you kids walk by my car earlier and I know I lost it right around here. Okay, well, what does walking right by here have anything to do with you missing your phone? Well, maybe you accidentally took it. <laughs> Mrs. Jones, I already told you, we didn't see it and we definitely didn't accidentally take it. George, is she saying we stole her phone? No. I didn't use the word stealing. But maybe you just found it on the ground and you didn't know it was mine, and so now you're embarrassed to say anything. Okay, so like my sister just said, are you accusing us of stealing your phone? Again, that is not what I said. We gotta go, we're gonna be late for class. Young man, hold it right there. I need to search both of your backpacks to make sure it's not in there. I'm a teacher here, and you need to do what I say. Okay, no we don't. We don't have to show you anything. You're falsely accusing us of stealing your phone without any proof. George, do you want to get into more trouble than you already are? Come on, now, now I would have been in trouble. We didn't do anything wrong, okay? Come on, let's go, let's go. Hey, what are you doing? Oh my God, Mr. Jones, you just ripped my shirt. Well, I told you to stop, that I needed to sp get check your backpack, so we just do it. I'm reporting this to the principal. Yeah, and what are you gonna tell her? Uh, the truth about you falsely accusing me and my sister for stealing your phone and also ripping my shirt? Go ahead. It's your word against mine. Who do you think she's gonna believe? There are no witnesses around. Actually, there is one witness. Hello, Mrs. Jones. Principal Adams, uh, what are you doing here? I just happened to be walking by and I noticed all the commotion. And I started listening on a very interesting conversation you were having with our students here. Well, yeah, I mean, I lost my phone earlier. And so I asked George and his sister to help me find it. Well, that's a very interesting take on it. What I witnessed is that you were accusing them of stealing your phone and then you ripped his shirt as he was trying to walk away from you? Well, I, I mean, I, I don't, I... Tell me something, Mrs. Jones. Could this be your phone? Yes. Where did you find it? It was in the back of your car underneath it. Oh, thank you, Principal Adams. No, no, no. I think we need to speak about this a little bit further up in my office. Meet me there in 10 minutes and don't be late. Of course, Principal Adams. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. Thank you, Principal Adams. Well, considering what just happened here, I have decided to give both of you the rest of the day off. Really? Uh, th thank you, Principal Adams. Like, wow. 
Wait, does that mean we have no school today? Mm-hmm. Yes, you can go home and relax. And you can do whatever you want to do. You've gone through enough already today. Thank you, Principal Adams, for understanding and, you know, just... You betcha. All right, go home and enjoy the rest of the day. Ten minutes. Okay, Principal Adams. Sit down. Actually, you know what? Don't sit down. As you know, when teachers like yourself do something wrong or commit a crime, there's usually a board meeting and we all members sit down and discuss it. Yes, of course. Okay, well today after witnessing what you did to those kids outside, I have decided to skip that meeting. As principal of this school, I have the authority to make these decisions. Yes, Principal Adams. Okay, so I am going to jump right into it. Okay, so let me make this quick. You're fired immediately. Also, seeing as how grave your actions were today, I am going to see to it that your retirement benefits are suspended upon further review from the school board. Now, go empty out your desk and don't ever set foot on this campus again. I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. Now, don't forget your cherished phone on the way out. This day get any worse. Ugh. 